Hey everyone, I'm Zoc Lee and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's update contains more improvements to the overall game and modding. For example, there's brand new models for the oxygen generator and corner lights. Also, the hitbox of small grid automated turrets has been reduced, which should help when flying into smaller hangars and make the placement of them on the underside of ships much less problematic. Moving on, we've been hard at work on the Mod API and Programmable Block API. There's hundreds of changes, including many community requests, so please check the forum for the complete list. We'd just like to say a massive thanks to Inflex, Elfie Wolf, Phoenix84 and Malware for their contributions on this. Currently, our designers are finalising the concept of the new HUD, with implementation expected to start over the next couple of weeks. To top it all off, we're planning on making the HUD much easier to mod, so it's definitely something to look forward to. Now here's some community information that people may have missed. We have a Discord server set up for discussion of anything related to Keen Software House. This is a great place to share creations and ideas, but also to just hang out with fellow engineers. You can find a link for the server in the description box below. In other news, we will be streaming tonight at 7pm CET on the Keen Community Network over on Twitch, where not only will we be playing and discussing our games, but we'll be sharing more details on the upcoming General AI Challenge. I talked briefly about the challenge last week, but if you have an interest in artificial intelligence and you are either a programmer, STEM student, or even just a tech enthusiast, join us on our live stream later today or visit the website in the description box below for more information. But that's all for now. For the full list of bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements in this update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week, and here's a quote to end on. Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot remain in the cradle forever.